It's always a pleasure and uh, an honor as Commander-in-Chief of the Canadian Forces to find myself in the company of men and women who are fulfilling a noble commitment out of a sense of duty, out of a desire to make a contribution, out of an unwavering conviction. And you know that this is the only, it's only the third time that we have presented military valor decorations since uh, they were created in 1993. For the past 13 years, neither the Victoria Cross, nor the Star, nor the Medal of Military Valor has been awarded. In fact, for the first time in many years, Canada is having to face a difficult and painful reality of armed conflict. Alongside NATO's allied forces, you work tirelessly in an effort to restore peace, to restore stability to a country that has been ravaged by decades of insecurity and violence. Canada's military involvement in Afghanistan has thrust you into the deadliest combat situations since the Korean War. And no matter what the circumstances, you must draw upon your courage, your calm, initiative and ingenuity, but also on your compassion. Because you are here, you are there to help men, women, children, and communities. This is what will determine the success of this mission. To receive the star of military valor, Respiander de l'Étoile de la Vaillance Militaire, Major David Nelson Quick. From January to August 2007, Major Quick displayed exceptional courage while commanding India Company, 2nd Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment Battle Group, Joint Task Force Afghanistan. He led his troops from the front during numerous intense combat operations throughout the Zari district. On April 22, 2007, despite injuries incurred by the explosion of a bomb, Major Quick kept on going using his tactical skills, his prowess and selfless dedication fundamental in defeating a determined enemy inspired the battle group to victory. Major Quick. Dispiander de la Médaille de la Vaillance Militaire. Private Shane Aaron Bradley Domovic. Corporal Dave Jeannet. On April 11, 2007, Private Domovic and Corporal Jeannet saved the life of a fellow crew member after his vehicle struck an improvised explosive device in Al Gham, Afghanistan. After freeing the trap driver, Private Domovic and Corporal Jeannette performed life-saving first aid, despite imminent risks of fire, explosions, and enemy attack. Private Domovic. Corporal Gionet. <laughs> 
Sergeant Gerald Alexander Killam. On May 16, 2007, Sergeant Killam, then Master Corporal, repeatedly exposed himself to lethal enemy fire during an ambush launched by insurgents in Sangsar, Afghanistan. Although separated from his platoon, he identified enemy positions and issued clear orders that enabled his section to engage the enemy. Inspired by his leadership, Sergeant Killam's troops fought back a numerically superior enemy with no casualties to his section. Sergeant Killam. J. James Renault. On April 11, 2007, despite his injuries, Private Renault provided life-saving first aid to a seriously injured crewmate after his Coyote reconnaissance vehicle was destroyed by an improvised explosive device. At the time of the incident, Private Renault was deployed as a surveillance operator with Reconnaissance Squadron, 2nd Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment, Battle Group in Afghanistan. Private Renault. To receive the Meritorious Service Cross, Rispiander de la Croix du Service Meritoire, Chief Warrant Officer Mark Leslie Baisley. From January to August 2007, while deployed in Afghanistan as a Regimental Sergeant Major of 2nd Battalion, the Royal Canadian Regiment Battle Group, Chief Warrant Officer Baisley maintained an unwavering focus on his mission and an exemplary discipline. His effective management of personnel, from soldier welfare to force protection, was highly regarded and respected. Chief Warrant Officer Baisley. <laughs> Good morning, and what a great morning it is to be here at a very special ceremony like this. Uh, here in Rideau Hall, hosted by our Commander-in-Chief and Excellency, let me just say thank you yet again for your gracious hospitality and for your bestowing the very high distinction on a very select group of individuals here today. We appreciate what you do each and every day as our Commander-in-Chief, and we're very proud to have you in that role. I am honored to be here and the company of you who have earned those awards. And ladies and gentlemen, when we look around the men and women in the Canadian Forces, you know, we look at what we do and how we do it, and we describe that by values. And some say that you can't see values. And those who can say that you don't see values, you actually see actions. And your values are articulated by your actions. And I think the greatest testament to Canadian values is right here in this room today and it's shown to us by the actions of those men who have been distinguished here. It's those 36 individuals who show us through their actions, their values. In situations where you were pushed to your limits, each of you behaved in a way that did honor to the forces, did honor to you as an individual, and certainly did honor to the country you represent, Canada. Your loyalty inspires the trust of your comrades. Your integrity exemplifies steadfast commitment to the principles and the obligations that define us as military professionals for Canada. And your courage shows others the way to disregard personal costs when confronted with the right thing to do.